Hello friends, we are back with a new video on nouns, its kinds and some questions on it. Before moving further, let me request you that if you are a new visitor to this channel, please subscribe to it as we will be coming up with more such content on English grammar and questions for competitive exams soon in future. Give us a like if it is useful to you and uh, share it with others who are interested in such content. Before moving to nouns, first let us understand in short what is parts of speech. Speech means a sentence that we talk. Every single word that makes the whole sentence is a part of the speech. So, every single word that makes the whole sentence is a part of the speech. Then we categorize these words according to the kind of ideas they express and they express in a sentence. So, in a sentence like uh, Rita Madam is playing basketball with us in the playground. Here, Rita is a name, Madam is an address. Is playing is something being done. It's a work. Basketball is the name of a game. With is used to uh, indicate the connection between two people. Then us is used instead of our names. Then in is used to say the position where Rita Madam and we are playing. Whereas playground is the name of the place where we are playing. So each word used here is a part of the speech, a component of the sentence. They are parts of speech. There are eight categories of parts of speech. Let's see them in a nutshell. One, nouns are naming words like Ram, Sham, Rita, Sita, Playground, Delhi, Goa, etc. Pronouns are words used instead of nouns like he, she, we, they, it. These are all pronouns. Verbs are action words like play, run, eat, dance, jump. These are verbs. So something is being done. Now adjectives are describing words like fat, thin, long, short, beautiful, intelligent, difficult, good, bad, etc. Adverbs are modifiers of verb, adjective and adverbs themselves like quickly, simply, hardly, unfortunately, exactly. So there is a change of the verb using ly. So quick becomes quickly. Now prepositions connect nouns and pronouns also called uh, position words like on, above, below, under, in, before, after, etc. Conjunctions are joining words like and, but, unless, until, because. These are all conjunctions. Interjections are words of exclamation like wow, amazing, oh, what, when. Alas, these are all interjections. Moving to noun, the highlight of today's class. What is a noun? A noun is the name of any person, animal, place, thing, material, and even emotions and ideas. A noun is the name of a person, animal, place, thing, material, and even emotions and ideas. So let's see some examples. Like uh, Ram, Sham, Radha, Sia. Ria, Rahul, Anita. These are names. These nouns are names. Okay. Of person. Now, Agra, Jaipur, Chennai, Kolkata, Pune, Nashik. These are names of cities. Places, rather. Lion, pigeon, cheetah, horse, cobra, housefly. These are names of animals. Book, pencil, bottle, bag, diary, clip, shoes. These are names of things. Steel, wood, mud, clay. These are names of materials. Love, happiness, anger, belief, kindness. These are names of emotions. Nouns are of five different kinds. Proper noun, common noun, 
collective noun, material noun and abstract noun. Proper noun. The particular name of a person, place, animal and thing is called proper noun or it is actually the original name of a place, an animal or a thing. Examples like Sunil, Sima, Mumbai, Nepal, Sparrow, Boots, Red. These are the original names of persons, places, animals or things. Next is common noun. The general name of a person, animal and thing is called common noun. Actually, the name given in general or in common of a person, animal or thing or let's say to represent the same class or kind, when we give a name, it is called common noun. Examples like boy, girl, city, country, bird, shoes, color are examples of common noun. Now, let's see some examples together to see the proper noun and common noun. Now, Ram is a good student. There are so many students. So, student is a category. So, it's a common noun. And Ram is a particular student. So, Ram is a proper noun. Now, Rita is a poor girl. So, there are so many girls. Out of these girls, Rita is one girl. Rita is proper noun. And girl is common noun. Delhi is the capital of India means capitals. There are so many capitals. But the only capital of India is Delhi. So, Delhi is proper noun and capital is common noun. An elephant is a huge animal. An elephant uh, is a particular animal. So, elephant name is proper noun. While animal, which is huge, that is an elephant. Now, that animal, it's a big category of uh, organisms. So, animal is common noun. So, students, please remember one thing here. It's a rule that a proper noun begins with a capital letter and does not take any article before it, while a common noun does not follow that. Now the third category, collective noun. It refers to a group or set of animals, persons or things forming a unit. In other words, a collective noun denotes a group or collection of similar individuals considered as one complete whole. So, examples like herd of buffaloes, pride of lions, team of players, bunch of keys, army of ants, swarm of bees, crowd of people are examples of collective noun. Now, let's see some examples or the sentences having a collective noun. First, the crowd has no discipline. Here, crowd refers to a collection of people. Next, the army is formed with discipline. Here, army refers to a collection of soldiers. Next, Ravi is the first boy in the class. Here, class refers to a collection of students. Next, you must watch the fleet. Here, fleet is a collection of armed ships. Students, you might get confused here about when you should use birds and when you should use flock. When should you use uh, soldiers and when to use army. Now, birds and soldiers both are noun of multitude. And do not get confused as the word birds or soldiers represent individuals of the whole group. Here the whole group means flock or army. So students, you just remember another rule. The collective noun denotes one undivided whole and hence the verb following is singular. While a noun of multitude denotes the individuals of the group and hence the verb following is plural although the noun is singular. Fourth category, material noun. The names of materials used as ingredients for making things are called material nouns. For example, gold, cement, clay, wood, 
cotton, steel, etc. are examples of material noun. Let's make it clear with some sentences. So, wool is obtained from sheep. Wool is material noun and sheep is common noun. Second, wood from this tree is of good quality. So, wood is material noun and tree is common noun. This ring is made of gold. So, gold is material noun. Please give me a glass of water. Here, water is material noun. So, students, remember here another rule. An article is not used generally before material noun. But in a special case, article can be used. Now take an example of that. Coal is black. The coal of charya is best. So see here, we have used the in front of coal. Coal is a material noun. Now abstract noun. Name of ideas, feelings, quality or things which cannot be seen or touched, that is, having no physical existence, are called abstract nouns. So, anger, love, grief, these are examples of abstract noun as emotions, while honesty, brilliant, selfish, these are examples of quality. So, let's see some sentence. Honesty is the best policy. So, honesty is abstract noun. The kindness of Mother Teresa is known to all. Students, remember that abstract nouns are formed from verbs, common nouns and adjectives. So students, with that we come to the end of this video. You are left with some questions. You can answer in the comment box by pausing the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give us a like and share the video. Check the description box for more English grammar topics. Thanks for watching.